The ambassador's first stop on her three-day visit was to the provincial government and the governor's office. Before visiting Popendetta General Hospital. Ambassador McKee then meeting with women in SME and then to the Duvin Hydropower Place and then to the famous Tufi Resort. Warm hospitality has been amazing and what I was impressed by in Oro Province was of course the rich biodiversity um, and the opportunities that are here. I also learned quite a bit about the challenges and in working uh, with the local partners and listening to the local leadership identified ways that the United States can deepen our partnership and support some of the goals of the local government as well as uh, the people here in the province, particularly in the areas of uh, landscape, uh, sustainable landscape management, natural resource management, good governance in the logging industry. The ambassador the next day meeting youth representatives where discussions were held on the U.S. intention in the province. The promise to you is that I will ensure that what we are pushing out from my embassy to the local level is transparent, equitable, and makes sense for your context and that that two-way street opportunity to make sure that as we partner and implement programs, as we stimulate economic growth, as we look at education op opportunities, as we look at women's economic empowerment and gender inclusion, as we ensure good governance as part of all of this, that it's not, again, one time, and that as we are working toward, we check in. How are we doing? Are the, is, are the results visible? Is what your government and my government together doing making sense and if not we listen and we correct course that's what partnership is about the ambassador later finishing her visit at the war memorial site in buna village the ambassador is expected to visit all 22 provinces in the first months of her term she took over from ambassador Catherine Herbert gray earlier this year adelaide sirex kari national mtv news